Hello and welcome back to the Dividend Experiment, the channel that can help you build a portfolio that pays your bills. The content that we discussed is intended for information and educational purposes only and should not be considered investment advice or investment recommendation. In today's video we're going to address the latest company one of you guys requested for the Is It Time To Buy series. Remember if you want a company to be submitted to the Is It Time To Buy series and be the next video made, then you can add it to the list on the post in the Disciple area of the Discord once you join the Dividend Temple. This is just one of the benefits you'll enjoy as a premium member. The reason I made it a disciple only submission is just because of the number of requests meant it wasn't fair that I couldn't have time to make all of them, so it's now on a priority submission basis. But videos will always be available for everyone to watch on the channel. As always, these videos aren't a recommendation to carry out any activity, whether buy, sell or hold, but I'm just giving my thoughts and can serve as a basis for your own due diligence. In today's video we're going to take a deeper look at Realty Income Corporation listed on the New York Stock Exchange. This one is an American listed company so we will have to pay the pesky withholding tax which is always a pain. The exact amount that you pay will depend upon your country but if you're a UK resident then once you complete the W8 Ben form you'll pay 15% on your dividend income before it even hits your bank account. So what type of company is Realty Income Corporation? Realty Income, commonly known as the Monthly Dividend Company, is a significant presence in both the S&P 500 and the S&P 500 Dividend Aristocrats Index. The company operates as a real estate investment trust, or REIT, and the continuous stream of monthly dividends is supported by the revenue generated from an extensive portfolio of over 13,100 real estate properties. These properties are mainly subject to long-term net lease agreements with commercial tenants. In a snapshot, here are the key dividend facts about the company. At the time of writing, Realty Income was trading at $55.17. Realty Income has a current dividend yield of 5.6%. Realty Income's dividend is in the top 25% of dividend payers in the US market, which cuts off at 4.96%. Realty Income's earnings have grown by 18.1% per year over the past five years. Rules. Now that we've seen what the company does, this dividend information snapshot, let's check out the rules of the dividend experiment and see if the company is a good fit for the dividend experiment portfolio. If you're not familiar with the rules, then I've made a free 16 page downloadable PDF guide. If you want to copy, then all you need to do is sign up to the email list in the description below. Okay, let's go through the rules. Rule 1. The company pays a dividend or is likely to pay in the immediate term. Realty, Realty Income Corporation is called the monthly dividend company for a reason, as it's proved its ability in paying dividends monthly along with providing the current dividend yield of 5.56%, which is ideal in the dividend experiment criteria for dividend investing. Realty Income Corp only takes from 13 days to 15 days from its ex-dividend date to pay date monthly from January up to December, so this is basically a perfect pass for our rule number one. Rule two, the company is a natural dividend payer judging from its industry or business model. Realty Income has a strong track record and, and is a natural dividend payer having distributed monthly dividends for 29 consecutive years since 1994. It operates within the REIT industry, specifically in the real estate sector, and generates revenue through rental income from various tenant types, including residential, commercial and, and industrial. The regulatory framework for REITs mandates that they allocate 90% of their profits to shareholders. Given these factors, Realty Income easily aligns with our second rule and is a favourable choice. Rule 3. The company should be a top player in its industry. As usual, a good way to check the market concentration in an industry is to head over to Guru Focus to check out their pie charts. Now there are some problems with this as it only defines by geographic area and it measures market cap rather than more relevant metrics for market dominance. However, it does give us a good indication of how big a company is relative to its market. Realty Income is within the REIT industry and their specialisation lies in the retail sector encompassing various property types such as shopping centres, factory outlets, shopping malls, restaurants and other retail properties. Among the 225 REITs, Realty Income holds the 8th position in terms of industry weighting, accounting for 2.99% of the sector. While it may not be at the very top of its industry, this ranking still places it in a competitive position. Hence, it meets the criteria outlined in Rule 3. Rule 4. Aim to buy the company at a historically great price. Since Realty Income is a real estate investment trust, using the PE ratio like we have been using for the other company analysis will give us an inaccurate picture of the company. Instead, we're going to use Adjusted Funds from Operations or AFFO. Realty Income has a trailing 12 month price to AFFO ratio of 13.66, which is only a little bit higher than the sector median of 13.62. Overall, Realty Income is essentially in line with the sector that it's in. Another way to check relative value is to take the 5 year average dividend yield and compare that to the current yield. If the current yield is above the 5 year average yield, then we can see that it's an indication of good value. 
Realty income has a five-year average dividend yield of 4.32%. Its trailing annual dividend yield stands at 5.46%. This implies that realty income is at a historically good value as its current yield is significantly higher than the five-year average. Rule 5. The company is growing and innovating even as it matures. Realty income is expected to see its annual revenue grow by 11.8%, which is faster than the US market's growth rate of 7.8%. However, its earnings is forecast to grow at a slower pace. Achieving growth in the context of real estate investment trusts can be quite challenging. Traditionally, REITs often generate growth by issuing new shares to raise capital, which is then used for property acquisitions. While Realty Income primarily operates within the United States, the company is actively expanding its portfolio and presence into new geographic regions. This expansion is aimed at increasing its total addressable market beyond its core US market. In essence, Realty Income is seeking growth opportunities not only through the acquisition of new properties, but also by diversifying its geographic footprint, allowing for potential growth avenues in different parts of the world. This approach reflects the company's strategic vision to broaden its reach and explore new opportunities for long-term expansion and success. Rule 6. The company is a sustainable dividend payer. Realty Income is a distinguished member of the dividend aristocrats, demonstrating its commitment to sustainable dividend payments. With a dividend yield of 5.6% and a 25-year track record of consistent growth, the company signals its intent to keep raising dividends. This not only benefits the shareholders, but also underscores the company's confidence in its ability to sustain and expand its earnings. Even though Realty Income allocates 74% of its earnings towards dividends, this distribution is advantageous because it's well supported by the company's earnings. Rule 7. The company has a history of payments. In the extensive history of Realty Income's dividend payments, a remarkable aspect of the company is its unwavering commitment to monthly dividend disbursements, a tradition that dates back to 1994 and continues to this day. Furthermore, it's important to highlight that the company has consistently increased its dividend for an impressive 25 consecutive years. This consistent and uninterrupted record of monthly dividends and annual dividend growth underscores Realty Income's dedication to providing reliable income to its investors. It signifies the company's ability to navigate various economic cycles while continually enhancing the returns for its shareholders, making it an appealing choice for income-oriented investors seeking both stability and growth in their investments. Rule 8. The company must have a strong moat. Realty income possesses a compelling set of competitive advantages. Their diverse portfolio of single-unit commercial properties, leased primarily to tenants in industries with non-discretionary and low price point characteristics, ensures resilience in various economic climates. With a remarkable 99% occupancy rate and a focus on long-term net lease agreements, the company generates stable rental income, supporting dependable monthly dividends. Realty Income's global expansion into markets like the United Kingdom, Spain, Italy and Ireland provides geographic diversification, while strategic partnerships with industry leaders enhance long-term tenant relationships. Additionally, their commitment to monthly dividends, extensive expertise and sizable scale position them as a prominent choice for investors seeking regular income and income stability. Headwinds or tailwinds The company's diversified commercial property portfolio spanning various industries serves as a stabilising force while its expanding global presence opens up avenues for growth and geographical diversification. However, there are challenges to consider. Forecasted slower revenue and earnings growth compared to the broader market may deter those seeking high growth investments. Interest rate sensitivity, economic downturns, competition within the REIT industry, and potential regulatory changes could impact the company's operations too. Investors should carefully weigh these factors while aligning their investment goals and risk tolerance with Realty Income's profile. Summary and verdict. Taking into account these various factors, Realty Income is currently a buy for me and my criteria for buying dividend paying stocks. The headwinds are significant across the real estate sector, but weakness across its peers is impacting Realty Income, and I think the price has become attractive here. The company has demonstrated a remarkable track record of consistent dividend payments, establishing its reliability as an income generating investment. Let's see what the analysts are saying about Realty Income Corporation. Now it's important to remember that we're looking at this through the lens of a dividend investor, whereas analysts are taking a more comprehensive look at the company. Analysing the viewpoints of financial analysts, there is a prevailing sentiment that strongly suggests a hold recommendation for Realty Income stock. This recommendation implies that if you currently own shares of Realty Income, the advisable course of action is is just to hang on to your existing holdings for the time being. What do you think of Realty Income? Perhaps it suits your investing style. Leave your comments and thoughts below. I always really like to see what you guys think. 
Remember, if you want to submit a stock to be next on the list of is it time to buy dividend analysis, then it's just a case of sending a message on the relevant Discord channel. If you liked this video, and if you made it this far, I'm guessing you probably did, then I have some good news for you. I'm giving away my PDF guide to the 10 dividend investing commandments, or the criteria that I use to pick dividend paying stocks, and I'm giving it away to you for free. All you need to do is submit your email in the link below and it'll get delivered to your inbox straight away. Again, that's for free. But that's not the only benefit of joining the email. You also get updates on the almost daily dividend portfolio, interesting stock ideas or news, and special deals and free stuff that I can share with you. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you on the next video. See you.